Hello, my name is Javier Garza, and I am a developer advocate at Akamai. This video is about Edge Workers, which is part of Akamai's Edge Computing Solutions. The Edge Worker service makes it possible for you to run serverless code closer to your end users, improve your application performance while accelerating deployment times by applying solutions on a massive scale. In this video, we will put our developer's hat and show you how you can write, deploy, and test Edge Worker's code in the Akamai Cloud Platform using the Akamai Control Center. Note that in order to deploy Edge Worker's code, you have to perform a one-time setup consisting of creating an Edge Worker ID and assigning the Edge Worker ID to an existing property. In a nutshell, the Edge Worker's code development workflow consists on five steps. The first one, you will put the JavaScript code you want to execute at the Edge in a file called main.js. And you will create a manifest file called bundle.json indicating the name and version of the Edge Worker code you want to deploy. The second step will be to package both files in a compressed tarball. The third one will be to upload the TGC file to the Akamai network, which is called create a new Edge Worker version. Fourth will be to activate the new version in either in the staging or production network. And the final step will be to test your code. And of course, you can repeat this over if you want to expand or edit your code. Linked off the product documentation, you can find a code example repository hosted in GitHub with code examples sorted by use case, which you can customize to create your own edge workers. And this is where I'm going to start today. In the GitHub repo, let's click the edge workers folder, then examples, then we scroll down until getting started, hello world. And here you can see several files, bundle.json, main.js, etc. Let's click main.js. And this is the JavaScript code. We're going to select everything and copy into the clipboard. Next, I'm going to switch to my text editor, which is the Visual Studio code, where I already created a main.js file and a bundle.json that are empty. So I'm going to paste the content that I copied and save the file. And I'm going to go back to the other screen, copy the content of bundle.json, and I'm going to repeat the same and paste it to the right file in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to edit the Edge Worker version to 0.1 and also the description. I will click and put my Hello World example. And of course, I'm going to save the file. So go File Menu, Save, perfect. One of the things I like from Visual Studio Code is the integrated terminal, which you can see in the bottom of the screen. I'm going to run a command to show that I am in the same directory where I saved the files I just created. Perfect, they're both there. Next, we are going to package the files into a tarball archive by running tar cbfc, followed by the name of the archive and the two files I want to put inside the compressed archive. Hello world.tgc main.js, bundle.json. Press enter, and there we are. Okay, I'm going to do another directory listing to double check the tarball has been created. ls-l, perfect. I can see it's marked in red letters. Next, we are going to create a new Edge Worker version using the file we just created. So I'm going to switch to the control center. We'll click the Hello World Edge Worker and click the Create Version button. A new screen will open where I will drag and drop the tar file I just created. I'm going to see the files are OK. The file is good. Let's drag and drop the tar ball to the Create Version. It says it's valid. OK, so now we can create the version. And here we are. We have version 0 0.1, Upload Order 1. And they say it's active. Let's create an Actions. Click Activate Version. And I'm going to select Network Staging and click Activate Version. We'll see the activation history screen showing the status as activating. Note that only one version of each Edge Worker can be activated at a time. You can, however, activate the previous version at any time. Next step is to test the code on the browser. I'm going to open my property in another tab. 
to copy my staging host name and double check the path where I enable my edge worker. Here's my config, I click on it and the configuration opens. You can see the configuration history and on the top the host names associated. I'm going to copy the staging host name. Click on the latest version to open the configuration file. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and you can see the hello world edge worker rule. You can see it's enabled by path slash hello dash world. So I'm going to open a new tab, type the URL, HTTPS colon slash slash. I paste my host name and I type the path slash hello dash world. I press enter. And I get an error. And this is expected because probably my edge worker has not activated in a staging yet. I can see it's still activating. Let me reload the page, it should be any time now. So I can see now the edge worker is working. And if we check, if we reload now the page, we should see the status has changed to complete. Once you've tested your edge worker and staging, you can go ahead and activate it in a production following the same steps. And last but not least, don't forget to visit our examples GitHub repository. Here we've shared code samples for you to use. We've opened up the repo for contributions from the development community. We hope this video will inspire you to start using edge workers to create amazing web experiences. Thank you.